Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here, 6th of November. Tricky, tricky day yesterday. Uh, really felt like the market was just caught long euros. And it also felt like there was sort of exogenous buying of dollars. Uh, and this could be could be a lot of reasons for this. One of the reasons that comes to mind is the um, pending financial crisis in the Middle East. Uh, for those of you who don't follow it as closely, uh, basically the Switzerland of the Middle East, which is Lebanon. Beirut is banking capital for Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, not as much Qatar, but a lot of the big Middle Eastern names bank in Beirut, and uh, they are about to impose capital controls. It looks like uh, there's going to be a little bit of a, a crisis, a financial crisis in the Middle East that's going to be sur surrounding Beirut, uh, which it may have caused some dollar demand uh, just in general. Because one of the things we saw yesterday was Euro Swiss lower. Um, which didn't make a lot of sense with boons getting crushed. Uh, Euro yen also went lower with Euro dollar. So it was kind of dollar demand, but also a little risk off demand. I don't know. Uh, difficult to figure out what the heck happened yesterday. But anyway, uh, Euro got crushed, gold lower. Let's look at the gold chart first and foremost. Uh, this is the this is the future. So we're we're GCZ right now. Um, below 1480, there's going to be stops. There's going to be risk. Uh, so be careful, gold. This looks like it could head lower. We do not uh, recommend selling gold. Uh, we're worried about number one, the financial crisis or f the pending financial crisis in the Middle East, which should create gold demand. And number two, uh, because we're at the tippity toppity tip of um, the risk on, uh, we think this could turn into risk off quite quickly, and which would then create demand for gold. But there will be stops below 1480. Uh, in the tactical book, you could probably make some money around that. So keep in mind the gold levels here. But really, this is just for the short-term book. So sell your gold. You know, this is a short-term trade. This is a one or two-hour trade. Try and put some shekels in the uh, in the safe, and then go square again, gold, or even perhaps look to go long. If it does, if it is a big-time puke, 1450 looks like a good place to go long. Euro. Don't know what to do here. Um, we do believe in this euro trend higher. Uh, we did stop at 65, which is the correct place to stop. Uh, but these two bars are pretty powerful. Uh, we don't like being short euros, uh, so we will not get short euros. But it's hard to get long euros as well, so we're just kind of square and watching this for now. Cable dipped down through that uh, 128.75 area yesterday, traded down to 60. This is just wash. Um, nothing to do here in cable. Just sit tight. There should be some more risk below 127.95. It's kind of more important, uh, but this could easily float higher again as well. So just stay on the sidelines in cable. Dollar Swiss, as you can see also, just in the middle of nowhere. This is our big focus, 98.40. Uh, too far for an entry today. So we're just sitting here uh, watching for now. For those of you who like to buy dollars, this is a line that a lot of people are going to be drawing. Um, should be resistance first time we touch that, which is going to be 99.70 if we get up there. Again, don't know what to do with this. None of this really makes sense to us. Um, I guess U.S. rates are mildly higher, so this is good for dollar Swiss. But again, we're, we're sidelines digesting. Aussie, God, it, what a tease, right? 29 the high, 
80 to low. I don't know when this is going to get resolved. Uh, we talked about the huge volume at 69, the figure. This thing just doesn't know where to go and what to do. RBA was mildly hawkish. Prices above 30 are very important, but prices below 78 or 80 are equally important. So we're waiting for this to resolve itself and take its next leg either higher or lower. Uh, these are the parameters we're watching. Dollar CAD, middle of nowhere. Uh, you know, oh, this is EuroCAD, sorry. EuroCAD, no view. Let's look at Dollar CAD. Um, I don't know where she is. Dollar CAD. Middle of nowhere, waiting for it to resolve itself. Uh, buying low ones has continued to pay. Uh, we're just 130.160. This is now an interesting point, 132.07, which is the BOC high. Um, and then on the downside, it doesn't really get interesting until you get way down below 130.18. So buying low ones seems to continue to pay in dollar CAD, uh, but we look for more range and consolidation today. Um, Friday is Canadian unemployment, so that'll be the big mover on Friday. Dollars are, we talked about getting core long dollars are. Um, we have 80, we bought 83s yesterday, we bought 69s, we sold some at 79. Um, we like core long dollars are just because the country's screwed financially. And we do think that there is going to be a risk-off moment um, coming soon. And so dollars are and all of EM are going to get punished for this. Um, we want to keep your average tidy because you don't really want to be long, say, at 85, which is totally middle. You want to try and get that average as close as you can to 50 because this will uh, be the cut point for all longs. And also, this will be a uh, break trade for the tactical book. Um, again, similar to gold, it'll be a short-term break trade where you just want to grab some cash if we get down there. Let's look at ES. Mildly negative day, but not super negative, right? I mean, higher high, higher low. Um, we've printed lower today, but nothing special. Um, we need to see this resolve itself below 30.30 before we get uh, bearish. We're obviously concerned. I don't know how many times I can say this. This is just insanity up here on this risk on move. There are so many possible catalysts uh, for the house of cards to go down. I don't even want to get into it. I see so few catalysts except for the fact that everyone is short for the market to go up. So we are waiting to see if one of these catalysts comes good. Um, could be a myriad of things. Could be impeachment. Could be higher rates. Could be, you know, banking crisis. Uh, you know, could be banking defaults in Europe. Could be, you know, if there's defaults in the Middle East and that spills over to defaults in Europe, and then, you know, there could be geopolitical stuff. Um, in the Middle East, there could be, I mean, there just, it could be millions of things. Um, this is a worry. One of the things that is going right these days is uh, Boons. Uh, 200 days at 30. But I've been telling a lot of people that you really want to look at the yield um, more than the price here. The yield is DE10Y. The 200 day on the yield is actually 23 basis points. Um, so we we do have um, we do have a ways to go, but you can see this is sort of this 35, 40 basis points, negative 35, negative 40 basis points are important for the boons. A clear through 30 down towards zero um, should 
um, we think should happen here. Um, and then we, we actually think boons are going to go up to 50 basis points. So there's there's a thousand boon points here to go. Um, core short on the price. So core short on the price is long the yield. Um, this is the DS contract. You know this this thing should go should get to 156. So there's there's a thousand points to 160, and then it gets exaggerated down to 156. Uh, we like core short boons, as everyone knows who listens to us every day, saying be core short boons. Uh, we do have services PMIs out today. Uh, it's final reading, so there will be less volatility. Uh, we have retail sales out of Europe today. Um, so we have Spanish general markets, uh, and then we have Ivy out of Canada. So it's a pretty, pretty barren uh, New York afternoon. Might be some, you know, reasonable uh, reasons for top side in euro if these services PMI is surprised to the top side. Unlike manufacturing, services tends to um, surprise on the top side. So could be a little bit euro move higher with that. Our main focus uh, is short boons. We're watching this gold level today just in the tactical book. And we are looking for the global macro risk off triggers, which we don't see yet, but they seem to be lurking in the shadows. Anyway, good luck today, people. Make some dough. Let's try and make back the losses that we accumulated yesterday. Um, if you like our shit, subscribe. If you uh, are happy with our videos, hit the little thumbs up thing. This will keep uh, the guy who runs this site in Ireland off my back. Appreciate that. Um, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.